Hi everyone. Happy election day. Um, I'm just trying to stay occupied <laughs> so that I don't sit and worry all day. Um, so let's do an unboxing from Atlas Stationers. This is basically my fountain pen day purchase. I also have two bottles of ink coming from Gold Spot, but until those come, I have this to show you. Um, and if you're interested in using my Atlas affiliate code, go ahead and use Lorelei 10 for 10% off your next purchase, and exclusions do apply. There are certain brands that do not accept the coupon. Um, but mostly, most all of them do. But, you know, like Sailor and things like that. I'm going to open this from the bottom just because I don't want my address to show. So, nice little postcard. A banu. Just... So excited. Comes with a ink cartridge, super long one and some lifetime warranty stuff. Stuff we don't really care about. This is what we care about. Oh, are you ready? Ooh! Oh, wow. Okay. So this is a Banu Astro Gem. This is the Midas colorway, which doesn't show as green on the pictures online as it does here. Um, but maybe they come, maybe they're all a little bit different. But it's got this coppery golden color. It's almost like a rose gold color in real life. It's showing more gold on the camera, but... It's got this glitter, this chunky glitter on top of this very swirly, metallic looking green and mm, I thought it was more, it's kind of purple. It's kind of that color that's like, it's not brown, it's not purple. And green. And then the clip is a silver color. And then it's got this transparent amber. I just loved that combination. I got a medium nib. It's a steel nib. And the section is also in that amber color. And it is quite small now that I'm seeing it. But... Ooh, it's smooth. The threads are nice and smooth. It comes with a converter. And it's labeled Schmidt. And the nib is Schmidt. It does post. It's a little long though. I usually don't post my pens, and it's pretty good size. I brought up my other Banu, so now I have two. This is the Talisman. Or is it Euphoria? I think it's Talisman. This is Lily of the Incas. And... As I thought, this is a little chunkier. Like the cap is a little bit girthier. And the body is, this body is a little bit thicker. 
but the looks like the sections are similar. Yeah, pretty much the same width-wise and length-wise. Medium. Medium. It's hard to see, but there is an M there in the middle. But this seems like it's got a little bit more tipping on it than this one does. Interesting. Oh, I do love it, though. I do love it. And I like, I could put green or purple or an amber color or something glittery in this. So many options. What do you think of the Astro Gem? Do you have one? Let me know in the comments. Um, in the next phase of this video, I'm going to in ink this up and let you know how it writes. Okay. I decided to ink this up with uh, Sailor Shikiori Tokiwa Matsu. Um, let me show you this swatch. It's this green and it's got amber sheen. And I think that'll be a nice pairing. Yeah. So let's see if I can find a spot here. All right, let's see. It's beautiful. I love it. This is the Midas colorway. It's a medium steel nib. Oh yeah, so nice. I tell ya, if I could have one ink, only one, one brand, I would have the whole line of Sailor Shikiori. I just love all of the colors and the ink really, it does a nice job. It like works great in every pen I've tried it in. You can already see the, the sheen coming through. This green is really nice. A nice match with the green in the pen. So this Atlas Stationers
I used some affiliate money for this pen, so it was about $100. But I think it retails more at $160. You use my coupon code and you can save 10%. And yeah, it's very lightweight as well. Someone online was talking in one of the fountain pen groups that they think a bunch of people thought that Banu feels cheap. I don't think it feels cheap at all. Yes, it's lightweight, but that doesn't mean anything. Oops. I have the windows open. It's a beautiful day. I like how smooth and shiny it is, and the resin looks high quality. It does not look cheap to me at all. And at that price point, it certainly is not cheap. <laughs> but they have wonderful nibs. I really do like the Schmidt nibs that come on these pens. It writes beautifully right out of the box. Nothing needs to be done to that nib. Not a thing. If you have any questions about the AstroGen, let me know. I, I will do my best to help you. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be soon. Bye!